beer tubers! Tonight I'm going to be opening up a really special beer by Firestorm Walker. It is their Sukaba. I know, kind of an interesting name, right? Well, it used to be called Abacus until some winery started throwing a fit that, well, you can't name your beer Abacus because we have a wine named Abacus. Well, that's a wine. This is a beer. Anyways, they're just like, whatever. So they decided to be a little bit silly and ironic and switched Abacus backwards, hence the name Sukaba. So the Sukaba is a barley wine aged in barrels for 11 months. And it's, I think it's one of the best barley wines ever. I've had batch number one in 2011. I really liked it fresh. And because the hops was more forward, I tend to like the American uh, hop forward barley wine. The second batch from last year, 2012, uh, as Jameson put it, Tantrum 777, he said that it's Coconut City! <laughs> Which and it was, it was very coconut forward and it was very good. My personal preference, I tend to like the fresh batch number one. So we're going to see how batch number three is here in 2013. I'm really looking forward to it, so let me go ahead and open it up and I'll show you guys how it is. Alright, so out of the box, here it is. And it's kind of cool that they have this fancy uh, seal around it. Uh, it's much easier than opening or uh, uh, cutting up a uh, candle wax one. So, anyways, uh, today I think I'm going to be using uh, the brewery's tulip glass. I really like this glass. Now, uh, this is a 12.5% barley wine. So it's B-A-B. -B. It's a big ass beer. Uh, it is also blended too, so it's going to be some, and I mean, barrel aged, so it's going to have some many, many interesting notes to this. So, here's the Sukaba barley wine. Um, it's quite dark. It's got this very roasted, burnt amber kind of color. I mean, it is amber. I see some sediment kind of floating underneath in the bottom right here, but it's quite dark. It almost looks like a brown ale. Uh, it's got very minimal head, but it's sticking around quite a bit considering that's 12.5% because usually high alcohol means that the uh, tends to, the, the carbonation tends to diminish immediately. Let me check the aroma on the Sukaba. Whoa, there's a lot going on in this mess. <laughs> Uh, so, gosh, there's so much going on. That's amazing. Um, I am smelling a lot of things. Uh, amongst a lot of things, uh, I would say uh, quite a bit of the sweet malt is definitely there. But right away, I'm getting oak. I'm getting vanilla. I'm getting the woody character from the barrels. Um, I am getting cigar. <laughs> definitely kind of this like charred cigar smell. So all those aroma, it just smells amazing. So let me go ahead and give it a try here. 2013 Sukaba. Kanpai. First of all, let me just start off by saying, out of the multitudes of flavor, the abundance of flavors that you get from this beer, it's really well balanced. I mean, when you have a lot of tasting notes, a lot of flavor going on, um, it could be a mess. It could be a hot mess, right? <laughs> but there's a lot going on and somehow it all comes together. Now, I know that this is something I should maybe say at the end of my review, but I could honestly tell you that's probably one thing that really stands out to me right now, right? So, right up front, you get quite a bit of sweetness. The hops are pretty up front forward, which as you remember, I like batch number one. I really like the hop character in this one. Um, but then right away the carbonation kind of kicks in and then just starts uh, start tossing all this flavor back and forth because the, with the carbonation it cleanses your palate, right? But so while the, 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 the carbonation is kind of like juggling all this flavor in your tongue, he's like, oh, try this, try charcoal uh, cigars and oak and vanilla and, and malty raisin stuff, you know, all this flavor, like, it's, it's like, whoa, whoa, that's, what's going on, that's, that's why I told you it's taking me a while to kind of process the flavor of this beer, and then the vanilla just starts coating your tongue, I mean, it's, it's, it's just like they're just pouring vanilla oak extract on your tongue, I, but in a really good way, it's like a really thin lacing, you know, and it being 12.5%, I don't really taste it or feel it at all, which is kind of scary and kind of awesome. Uh, the Sukaba by Firestone Walker. This year's, I'm really digging it. I think it's a great combination. 
so far I'm gathering of batch number one, the hop forward, and batch number two, Coconut City, has got quite a bit of both of those characters in this one. Uh, so, my final rating of this beer, this is an easy A+. Uh, it's one of the best barley wines out there, not because it's some crazy barrel-aged beer by Firestone Walker, but it's just an excellently crafted beer by them. It's amazing just how many flavors, and if you don't remember what the flavors are, just rewind back in my video. <laughs> and, you know, for a lot of people, it's like, oh, 15 bucks for a bomber? I mean, even for a 750, that's a lot, but, you know, when you have well-crafted art in your hands like this, even for someone like me that don't make that much money as a freelance classical musician, 15 bucks for this is so worth it. I'm, I mean, I'm going to sleep really well, not because of the high alcohol, but because I can be like, ah, oh, I can have hope in this world. I can just still retain all this hope in you, humanity <laughs> for all this, this great art that's produced. I mean, this is excellent, excellent. So, anyways, this was Firestone Walker's 2013 Tsukaba. Thanks so much for watching. Get a hold of this beer if you can, and I'll see you guys in the next 